Alright, so besides the new icon photos that are on the toolbar, you also have some new features that are included in this 3.0 up update. Um, something that you'll notice right here is the rotate 90 degrees clockwise button. You know, you just highlight the highlight the feature here and you can click it and as you can see it's, it's rotating. Um, probably not the best example with a perfectly symmetrical shape but you can still see it uh, see it move. Um, the other feature right in, that uh, you'll see new is the the blackout which is right here and we'll talk about that a little later as well as over here we got the lattice effect uh, the rhinestone and you have your advanced users uh, buttons right here and uh, also the the shadow the shadow layer feature uh, has some new features included in it. So we're going to be talking about all these uh, later on in this video. One button blackout feature. You know, to do a blackout of an object. And you can do this before, however it was multi-step, now it's all just one button and a blackout removes uh, all the child shapes from the parent shape. So I'm just going to select that shape here, hit the blackout button, and there we have a blackout of of that shape. So quick, easy, uh, nothing to it with the brand new one button touch. But the shadow layer has been updated and it's been updated so well that you can even create something like this with just a click of the button. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Uh, start out with the, the normal frame that I've been using for this whole video and I'm just going to go ahead and go to the shadow button uh, layer. Um, as you can see, you got the, the slider here that uh, increases and decreases. You get a live preview over here of what's going on on the page, which is nice. Um, this was on here before as well as the, the beveled, mitered, and rounded. I'm just going to go ahead and have rounded. This is a new feature that the apply blackout. If you want to apply a blackout, uh, that's sort of doing a blackout shadow. It's like a combo. And uh, as you can see, that's what you'll get. That's one solid piece. Uh, circle and uh, you know you can do the auto after output uh, check block then you hit accept once you accept that but I'm going to show you how I did that real quick I'm just going to uh, go ahead and click the inset shadow I'm going to go ahead and uh, br bring this up like so and I'm just going to hit accept and w once I do that then you're, you're pretty much you're pretty much golden you know I'm going to select everything and I'm just going to hit the join button and now you have uh, one of those frames with using the inset shadow. So that's just a quick little overview on the on the shadow upgrade to, uh, to this version of Make the Cut software. Alright, so um, we're going to be talking about the rhinestone feature right here and all, all you have to do is select the shape that you're wanting to use the rhinestone effect on and uh, click this button right here and what uh, what you'll notice right here is you have a slider and that's the spacing uh, for the rhinestone so I'm gonna go ahead and click preview on the mat here and as you can see we have the rhinestones on the outer edge now you can use this slider to determine your spacing and uh, you know you click the preview and there you can see how it uh, how it adjusted and uh, something else you can do is if you don't want the outline shape, you just want the whole thing filled in, you can do that as well and hit the preview. And if you still like to keep that, uh, the underneath shape there, you can uncheck block this and hit preview. And as you can see, you still have that shape that's underneath and you still have the rhinestone effect that is uh, on top. So that, that's the rhinestone effect, just a quick, quick little overview of the... Alright, I know before we showed a tutorial on how to do the lattice effect, well it's built right in into this brand new feature of Make the Cut 3.0. And uh, all you have to do is, you know, it's under your Shape Magic toolbar, and you know, you select the shape that you want to apply the lattice effect to, and then you hit this button right here where it says lattice effect, or you can hit Control E. And here you'll have multiple options, you know, you can use the slider bar to play with the width and the gap and the angle, you know, and the, and the rotation. And then to see what it looks like right there on the mat, you can hit apply and preview on the mat. And right there, there's your lattice effect with one button. Uh, before we had to go through several steps, now it's all built in. And once you, once you like that effect, you hit accept and you're good to go. All right, uh, in the Shape Magic toolbar, you have the Beezer Warp. Uh, what, what was added to this is 
um, you know, down here you'll see the presets. And say that you, you constantly come in here and you you know that you don't want a closed curve. You know you want your stuff to be aligned a certain way. Well, once you have everything set up the way that you like, you can go ahead and click the Save button and you can save that as a preset. I've already saved one as a Scrappy Do 1. And you can, whenever you come in, you can go ahead and click that and everything uh, comes up the way that you saved it um, in your presets. So that's a, that's a brand new feature that's in this version of Make the Cut software. So all right, this is our third and final video. Uh, what we wanted to cover with the videos was just a brief overview. We know we missed some features that, uh, that are included in the release notes, but uh, this should be enough to get you guys started with the Make the Cut 3.0, you know, the, make it an easy transition from, from 2.3 to, uh, to 3.0. So uh, with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com. Make sure to check out our website for uh, help, videos, tutorials, and of course make the cut files.